Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Daughter of Increase. My name is Nate Denise, for those of you who are new to the channel. And I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday all about my faith, God, Christ, and expanding the kingdom of God. Today's video is going to be split up into two parts, so I'm not sure if you're going to see both parts on today, um, as it is Thursday, so I'm recording this video Thursday, April 5th, for today. But um, I don't know if you're going to see both parts today, or if you're going to see part one today, and then part two on Tuesday. But um, this is going to be my March book haul. This first part is going to be all the books that I purchased myself or got on donation fee. Um, and then the second part will be all the review books. And hopefully by then all of my review books for March will have arrived. But um, I'm just going to jump straight into this video because I don't want it to be super long. So um, I'm going to start off with this book here. I talk about Discovery Series from Our Daily Bread a lot because I love their little book booklets and pamphlets that they have. So I got this one in the mail. I'm not sure if I own this one already. I have to check my stash. But um, I will have a video on all the booklets that I have from them talking to you guys about them. But this one is Overcoming Worry, Turning Fear into Faith by David Egner. It looks just like this. And it's an interesting one. It says, Worry is something we all experience to some degree. The challenge is how we choose to deal with it. Do we give in to our fears or turn to God in faith? Overcoming Worry shares... Um, Yoder's intense struggle with fear and worry and how she realized that total dependence on God, not self-sufficiency, brought her out of darkness. So I'm really interested in to see how this goes. Um, it's definitely something a lot of us struggle with and something I definitely want to get into myself. So again, Overcoming Worry by Debit Egner. And I'll link to where you can get this down below because all their pamphlets are free with free shipping. So they're awesome. Moving on, the next book that I got, um, I got free without paying it um, from a company. So this co this organization actually sent me a book before, and it's Hearts of Fire, which is this one. And it's from the company The Voice of Martyrs. Now, The Voice of the Martyrs is a nonprofit interdenominational organization that's dedicated to assisting the persecuted churches that are worldwide. And it was founded in 1967 by Pastor Richard Wombard. Um, and the pastor was in prison for 14 years for his faith in Jesus Christ in communist Romania. And, um, yeah, it's just about eight women in the underground church and their stories of costly faith. So some of these women have been beaten almost to death. Some of these women, um, have just been in prison and stuff like that just because of their faith in Christ. So, um, you know, this was the first book that I received. So then I saw that they had this one, which is actually written by the founder of Voice of Martyrs. And it's called Tortured tortured for christ it's their 50th anniversary edition and this is the book cover and this is basically the pastor's story of um, his 14 year imprisonment and it basically says solitary confinement physical and mental torture extreme hunger and cold these were the experiences of pastor richard wormbrand during his 14 years in prison in communist um, romania his crime like thousands of others was his fervent belief in jesus christ and public witness concerning his faith so that's that. And it says he was ransomed out of the country of Romania for $10,000 in 1965, which is insane. So, honestly, I requested this because um, this reminds me of Paul the Apostle, how he was in prison and wrote the letters to the different churches. So, this definitely was something I wanted to get my hands on. Like I said, I haven't read the first one yet, which is this one, Hearts of Fire. But I definitely do want to read them because they seem like they would be awesome books. So, that's that. The next thing that I got, I picked up from Penn Station in New York, and I hauled this book in February and told you guys I was going to get it in February, but I didn't. Now, I hauled it and said I was going to get it this month, in, well, last month in March, and I did. Um, but the book that I showed you guys was actually my mom's and told you I was going to get my own, and it's this one here, Becoming the Woman God Wants Me to Be by Donna Parto. And if you guys see me looking straight ahead, it's because I'm making sure that the, um, the books are centered in the camera so you guys can see them but um this is the book she is the author of becoming the woman i want to be which i did download to read but this is a 90 day kind of journal kind of thing um and i love that there are questions and things that you can answer and checklists and different things and i really really like this so I can't get, wait to get into this. Um, it's all about the Proverbs 31 woman. And I mean, a lot of women want to be a Proverbs 31 woman. But um, that is a very, very hard task to be her because that woman was a powerhouse, like a powerhouse through and through family and business-wise. But um, yeah, I have that. And I paid $15.99 for this book. 
at Penn Station, but you can find this anywhere. I know Amazon has it for like $10 and some change, as well as um, ChristianBook.com has it for $10 and some change. So that's that. The next five items I got from ChristianBook.com, and I have massive hauls coming from them because I made two more purchases, but you'll see that in April's haul. But um, the first three items are bookmarks. So here is the first set of bookmarks, and aren't these just so stinking cute, guys? They're pink with um, this kind of minty green with gold. I love it. And the back of them looks like this. They're magnetic bookmarks. I have these ones. And then I have these ones. And um, I apologize if you guys can hear my family or my son because everyone is on break. So they're going to be a little bit loud. I apologize. But um, the main reason for that purchase was to get two items for the book club that we're starting this month in Daughter of Increase. We'll be diving into a new book. We're finishing up Fervent from Priscilla Shire. Um, and then we're going to be diving into this, which is similar to Fervent. Um, and it's the battle plan for prayer from basic training to, to targeted strategies. And if I'm not mistaken, this is written by the Kendrick brothers. Yes, Stefan and Alex Kendrick. Um, and they are the creators and writers and producers and actors of War Room, as well as Courageous and Fireproof and all those other movies. Phenomenal movies. I will do a video all about their movies because I love their movies. But um, this is the book. It is 35 chapters. And I can't wait to get into this because I've really been loving prayer a lot. Um, prayer is something that has really been calling to me. And with that, we're going to be diving into the Bible study. So I got the Bible study book as well. And this is by Stefan and Alex Kendrick with Travis Agnew. And I can't wait to dive into this. This comes with video studies, so you do have you don't have to buy the video studies. A lot of the books that I have, I don't have the video sessions for, but you can still do the actually weekly assignments or daily assignments. But um yeah, this is an eight session Bible study. And the book is 35 chapters. So that is that. Move that out the way moving along moving along i got some things off of amazon and i'll be ordering a lot more stuff from amazon but the first item i have is this gorgeous book the ruth anointing by michelle mclean walters i love this woman's writing her writing is amazing i actually own her other books that's in this kind of series which is the esther anointing which i've read i fell in love with and it's just a phenomenal book phenomenal she also has the deborah anointing i haven't read this one but my mom did and she loved it and then she also has the Anna anointing, which is about Anna the prophetess. Um, I think Anna was a prophetess, if I'm not mistaken. If I'm not mistaken, she was. But um, now she has a Ruth anointing. And this came out April 3rd. Um, I pre-ordered this back in February, and it arrived to me April 4th, which was yesterday. So it only came, it came within one day of being released. And I love the way her book covers just go with each other. And how the spines look I just I can't wait to dive into this book and I really really hope that um, she comes out with more books like this this one is becoming a woman of faith virtue and destiny be inspired by Ruth inner strength resolute mind pioneering spirit I've already studied Ruth so um, I've studied Ruth twice now and I can't wait to dive into it with this the next thing that I got was this and it's a compact Bible dictionary by Ronald F Youngblood F. F. Bruce and R. K. Harrison. It's an all-in-one resource to Bible backgrounds, teachings, people, places, and much more. It's easy to understand and has illustrations throughout, and it can be used with the New King James, the NCV, the King James, the NIV, and other popular translations. So here's what it looks like. This thing is freaking massive. I got it for like six bucks off of Amazon, um, but it retails for fifteen dollars, and it's a part of their compact series. They also have the compact Bible handbook, the compact Bible commentary, and the compact Bible concordance. If I'm not mistaken, I think I ordered the um, handbook, the compact Bible handbook, um, on ChristianBook.com, and then I think I also want to get the compact commentary. I'm not sure, but um. It's literally just a dictionary of different terms, different people, different tribes, different words. And there are pictures throughout. I think I want to get my hands on the uh, illustrated Bible dictionary just because I think it would bring the pictures to life. Um, and this is definitely a, a kind of like on the go going to like Bible study kind of dictionary to have. I do want a larger one. So I have that. And then the massive item that I got is this 
puppy hair. Oh my god, can you even see this? <laughs> it is the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance of the Bible. Um, it's easy to reprint. Words of Christ are emphasized. It has a fan tab thumb index reference system. And it's the Greek Hebrew Dictionary with the Strong's numbering system. Now, if you don't know who James Strong is, I mean, he is the guy of all guys who does a lot of the um, Hebrew and Greek definitions. I mean, if you hear the word strong, you know that it's a part of the dictionary for the Hebrew and Greek words. Um, that contain that are in the um, King James Bible along with other Bibles but um this one literally is just so massive you guys every word possible you can think of in here I mean I'm going to do a flip through in a, a video on how I use this but um I love this it is packed with so much stuff and I like that when I use this with my online resources I don't have to look up the um, actual word in here I can just go straight straight directly to the Strong's um, dictionary with the Greek and Hebrew numbering system because they are all the same across the board whether you find the number online or in a book so have that this was about eleven dollars if I'm not mistaken but um yeah this this is huge this is huge and I love it I've been using it a lot and it is amazing I still use my online resources at times but that one is phenomenal okay so moving on I have Joyce Meyer items and these are the last items I'm going to share with you guys for this portion of the video and um, you guys know I talk about Joyce Meyer site she has a section on her website which I'll leave a link down below to that section called today's offers and um, it's basically a section where sometimes she'll have like little bundles of like a Bible and a book and a devotional together where you can um, donate a minimum price instead of paying the full price so a lot of her books um, you know they're on a minimum donation. The minimum you pay is a dollar, um, and you can pay whatever you want. You can pay the full price. You can pay more than a full price, less than a full price, but the minimum donation is a dollar for any of the items that say any donation. Um, some of them do have a specified donation of like 25 30 90 depending on the bundle and what it is she's doing or giving. But um, so the first item I have here is this, and it's just a sample. It was a resource of the month for March, and it was the first two chapters of her new book, which is Living a Life You Love, Embracing the Adventures of Being Led by the Holy Spirit. I actually did get this on her website. It's going to be coming in the mail soon, but um, I'm going to read the first two chapters to see how I like it. And if I like it um, when the book comes, I definitely will pass this along to someone. I won't even write in this. I'll pass this along to someone to see if they would be interested in this book. And sorry if you guys hear my son again. <laughs> But um, the next book I have here is 40 Things the Word of God Does for You. And it's literally just 40 things that it does. I mean, it says, in this book you'll learn how to use God's Word to expose the lies of the enemy, receive God's supernatural direction for your life, become joyful, positive, and full of hope, live in God's secret place of protection, and stay spiritually strong through every season of life. And um, I mean, it's just numbered. So there are 40 reasons in here. Sorry if you guys heard my mom, too. <laughs> I've tried to make this video so many times, it's ridiculous. But with the family on vacation, it is what it is. But um, this next thing, the next items are all kind of like audio CDs. So this one is a CD and DVD combo and is The Word in You. The secret to growth and change in every area of life. Here is the case. I love it. And you get the DVD, which is pink. And then you get four CDs here. And each CD has a specific title. So like the CD1 is called Living the Word. Sorry about that, you guys. I'm going to keep apologizing because they're loud. But um, this two is Romans 8 and Colossians 3. This three, if I'm not mistaken, is Ephesians 1 and 2. Yes. And then the last one is on Philippians 3. Yes. And my favorite scripture ever, Psalms 91. So I can't wait to dive into this because, I mean, it's, it's going to be awesome. But again, the packaging, whoever does her packaging for her products... They're, they know how to get the coloring correct because their colors and the way they pick things are amazing. The next one I have is Marriage and there's a CD and DVD. So there's the, the CD and then the DVD which also has a Q&A. Um, the CD is 27 minutes and the DVD is 40, 54 minutes. Sorry. And for these, the CD, since there are seven teachings, are 3 hours and 36 minutes and then the DVD is only 34 minutes. And the last thing I have here is this one, which is The Lord is My Shepherd, Psalm 23. It is a four-part series of her studying Psalm 23. It's four CDs, and it's four hours, so an hour each CD. And that's what they look like. The first one, the second and third, and then the fourth. 
And then I have two books. So, honestly, I got them because the covers were gorgeous, but I knew that they would speak to me. So, I have Living Courageously. You can face anything. Just do it afraid. Do you see this cover, guys? Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, I love the color of it. But just quickly reading the synopsis, it says you have fear, and if you don't face your fear, it can paralyze you and hold you back from enjoying life to the fullest. Joyce Meyer wants to show you that to break out of fear, you must face it head on. So that's a quick brief synopsis on that. And the last book for this portion of the video is going to be Do Yourself a Favor, Forgive. Learn how to take control of your life through forgiveness. Here is the cover. Now, I will say, um, this is, I think, the second or third book that I got from her site that came a little banged up. But this is probably, like, the worst. It's been banged up. So I'm going to contact the company and see if they wouldn't mind sending me um, a new copy. I don't, things like this don't bother me as long as the actual pages of the book are not ripped. Um, it doesn't bother me. It is what it is, but I'm just going to see if they would be willing to exchange it for a different copy. But I'll read quickly. It says, what is peace worth to you? If you don't see it as extremely valuable, you will never do what you must do in order to have it. Controlling your anger and learning to forgive generously are, and quickly are parts of maintaining peace, but always being willing to sacrifice our own desire, especially the, the desire to be right, is also a daily part of enjoying the peace that God has provided in Jesus Christ. I have discovered that God is much better at vindicating me than I am at trying to vindicate myself. Let God be God in your life and you will enjoy more peace also. So, I can't wait to dive into this because I'm struggling with forgiveness right now with um, a few people in my life. Um, and I know that I need to forgive them in order for me to move on and to deepen um, my walk with God. But it's a struggle, so I know that book is going to help me out a lot. But um, those are... All the items, um, I am missing a DVD from Our Daily Bread, which I'll put a photo here of that DVD. I think it's called Paul the Apostle or Paul, the Apostle Paul. Um, it's a DVD that I'm waiting on for them. They were supposed to send it last time, but um, I emailed them. They had just mailed it out today, so that probably won't be here till Saturday or next week. But um, I'll show that DVD to you guys when it comes in my April book haul. But that is it for this first portion. These are all the books that I paid for uh, myself. And uh, that's pretty much it. So the next bit port up the the next part of the video will be all of the books that I got for review. So if you want to see that, then check out the next one. And if not, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.